Good morning all, this is Darren Benson with Performance Motor Coaches. Coming to you from Lubbock, Texas. Uh, we finally back in Texas. We've been up in Indiana for about a month. Uh, this unit right here is one of the very few unsold pieces we have. Uh, we kind of specifically chose this to go out and play with it. We did a quick little video about a week and a half ago before we left Indiana. And we basically spent about a little over a week in the coach just to kind of get a rough idea. or kind of get an idea of all the systems, kind of get an opinion of it. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have too many of these explorers that are coming down the pipeline. Uh, most of those are basically non-existent, either sold uh, or we've swapped some of those chassis over to some classics. But um, just kind of wanted to do a pretty good overview of everything. Uh, my first video of the first explorer was a little harsh. Uh, you know, just to try to give my overall feelings and opinions. Uh, it's kind of the way that I uh, approach my sales tactics in that, um, you know, I just try to tell it exactly as it is and you can chew the information and kind of make your own decision. But uh, back in here in service before everything gets cranking, uh, this unit right here is a 2022 Renegade Explorer 38 uh, EMB. So basically it's a little over 38 foot all the explorers will be on the Cascadia 116, which is a little bit shorter hood. It'll be powered by the DD13, which is 12.8 liter Detroit diesel. It'll be coupled to the Allison 4000 series automatic. Uh, great driving coach. Um, you know, we get people that ask about, you know, single axle versus tandem axle. Definitely, you know, the tandem axle does drive a little bit more solid on the highway. Uh, I ran the coach pretty much most of the entire distance. We didn't take a direct path back to Lubbock. Uh, we kind of went over the river and through the woods. And so we got a fair amount of uh, driving experience in all kinds of different environments. Uh, doesn't have any problem running 75 miles an hour down the highway. You know, uh, the power plant basically in this is 505 horsepower, 1850 torque. So it's going to do a you know, fabulous job keeping any kind of road speed. A uh, little bit of sway to it in heavy winds, a little bit of sway to it, um, you know, once you get uh, on some rough highways, but in comparison to like your Freightliner M2, night day difference. Uh, still, a, you know, far superior driving coach, far superior uh, driving chassis itself. But I just kind of got to jump into it. This is the Stratus uh, paint job, which is by far my favorite paint job. Uh, you know, it's a little bit easier to keep clean as far as you know the silvers, grays, um, and white. So to me, kind of the best looking paint job out there. Of course, the elevated front and rear caps that they've done. Um, we'll kind of call this. I can call this a baby icon. So uh, that's what they've done on the icons is front uh, elevated front and rear caps to kind of match the uh, roof profile awnings. But definitely good looking coach. All of the explorers will be. Uh, which is, there's only two right now, uh, will be uh, quad slides, so basically four slides all the way around, opposing slides in your living room and then opposing slides in your uh, bedroom as well. There's not too many options on the Explorers. Uh, this will be one of them right here. So everything will be bedlined um, as an option in your storage compartments. To me, that's kind of a no-brainer. Get all the carpet out of there. Uh, it comes standard with the Aqua Hot. Uh, that is the 450. That is tied into the waste heat off your engine, so basically that system will stay nice and toasty while you're driving up and down the road. Uh, you don't have to necessarily run the heater or the boiler portion of that driving up and down the road. This does have one more option right here. This is the central vac. Uh, there's a port inside and outside, makes it pretty handy to be able to keep things clean, whether your storage compartment, maybe your car, or inside the coach itself. Um, oddly enough, all the explorers, they do the prep for the uh, outdoor cooler in this particular bay right here, which makes zero sense. We didn't option anything with the outdoor cooler because if I was going to put an outdoor cooler, I wouldn't put it here. We want to block off this three quarter pass through. So we could easily stick it more in the front compartments up there uh, to be able to just kind of utilize more space, be able to use that space underneath itself. Outdoor TV will come standard with a sound bar. A little USB to be able to charge your phone in there. And kind of the idea back behind the sound, the sound bars versus the uh, regular stereos, as most people are Bluetoothing, uh, you know, your Pandora, uh, 
from your phone versus actually tuning into the radio any, any longer. It does have an 18,000 pound front capacity uh, front axle, 23,000 pound capacity rear axle. So in that, uh, even though the, the engine transmission can obviously support a lot more weight because of the single axle, uh, they run down to just a 20,000 pound hitch. So this particular hitch right here is rated at 3,000 pounds uh, tongue weight. We pulled a car and a trailer back behind uh, the uh, just a you know, really small trailer, no problems whatsoever pulling that, but even a you know, larger trailer. Uh, if you were going to be pulling a sacker, I would just recommend something smaller, probably in the 20 to 22 foot range. Uh, I wouldn't pull anything over that. Just starts putting a lot of weight on that rear axle. It does have a camera plug right here, so if you had a trailer with a few cameras inside or outside, it will accommodate that. It does uh, have some connections there for glad hands so if you had an air ride trailer or air brake trailer. You see the uh, fiberglass rear cap here. They do a two piece here. The idea is if you were to back into something, easily replace this lower section. Definitely just kind of a good looking uh, finished rear cap here. You can see the elevated portion up there and then that little bit of, uh, that little bit of split there for the air to be able to roll through there. Uh, a few stainless steel pieces, uh, lots of lights. Uh, very, I kind of like having the tail lights up here. Um, you know, if you're pulling a trailer, you know, flat towing, and you have some kind of issue, uh, you know, the idea would be be able to see these uh, these upper brake lights right here uh, if the if your uh, lights go out on your towed. So we'll jump over here. 8K generator is standard. You cannot option anything larger than that. Uh, in fact, all the rest of the Renegade product line, uh, you can only do an 8,000 watt with a single axle. You'd have to go up to a tandem uh, to be able to get up to the 12.5. Does have this will be standard right here. Uh, the, sh the short cord right here, the power short cord, and then it does have the uh, smart transfer switch that will basically tell you your amp draw. All of the baggage doors, well not all of them, but most of them um, will all be fully locking as well. The uh, keypad or a key fob. So if you'll notice, um, you know, compared to the, the classic lineup, uh, this belt molding is a little bit taller. So there's actually a little bit of gap between your waste tanks and the floor right here. Um, the XL, the Explorer, the icons all sit a little bit taller, which makes all your baggage compartments a little bit taller as well internally. Um, this does have the little automatic uh, hose reel right here, which makes it standard. You don't have to chase down the hose. That's probably more than anything. Uh, not that I need anything automatic, but just nice, you know, so you don't have to have another, so another storage space for a garden hose itself. This is heated as well. There's a hydronic register that's uh, tied into the aqua hot, and then your Firefly system will let you know your temperature right here. And then you do have uh, some 12 volt heat pads that will be on the bottom of these guys right here. Your gray water, black water. Each one of those is 75 gallons. And then up front, we did not option this with any uh, lithium batteries. Um, just wasn't sure how the product was going to uh, take off. Um, of course, you know, if we had 10 Explorers, we could sell 10 Explorers right now, but uh, it wouldn't be too big, too big of an issue to change those out to lithiums. Uh, the fact that, you know, you only have a single inverter and, uh, you know, if you were needing to run an air conditioner, you're going to have to run your generator. We didn't think it was too big of a deal doing the lithiums in this particular rig. But not a problem to take and add that after the fact. A uh, single inverter is the only option on Explorer. You can't do a dual inverter. I can tell you uh, in-house here we've done some dual inverters. Uh, after the fact, uh, it does get pretty pricey, but something we can definitely get done here. Single 120 gallon fuel tank right here. Um, because this is a little bit shorter hood, everything gets pushed just a little bit further back. Um, so if you'll compare this to say the 126, which is a little bit larger or a little bit longer hood, uh, this gap right here, this spacing actually comes upwards. Um, so right back behind the fuel tank, you'll have uh, one of the hydraulic jacks. So it kind of pushes things a little bit further back whenever you jump up to the 116 uh, or jump down to the 116. 13 gallon def tank right there, pretty accessible, really easy, 
entry in and out of the cab. These do have the uh, kind of the dreaded renegade seats they put in them. That's about the only thing that was, you know, after after a week out on the road, I definitely was glad to be back. I'm just not a big fan of those seats and don't know when the end will be in sight for those, but it, it's something there again, we can always change those out to, you know, a very robust over the road seat. Uh, that's kind of uh, kind of lipstick right there. So not a big fan of that. I'll tilt this open really quick. Nothing really to see here. Uh, just wanted to kind of point out a few things in your engine bay. One thing that I think is pretty unique with the Detroit diesel is all your filters are cartridge filters uh, versus having you know any kind of spin-on filter. My issue with a spin-on filter is if it comes loose, basically gravity starts working at it uh, versus all your cartridge filters. Much easier to get to, just nicer, cleaner whenever you go to do your, all your service and maintenance. Uh, see this is pushed back a little bit further uh, but as far as you know, as far as horsepower you know you, once you jump into like you know your, your diesel pusher class uh, you know most of those are going to be 450 horse but only 8.9 liters like I said this is 12.8 liters so this is definitely uh, you know a fair amount of power a lot of power for this size of coach it will come standard with the what we call the clear bra up front and basically just kind of material to keep uh, all the rock chips off the front and will go on the bumper and the front of the hood. Come center with the side cameras as well. They started jumping over to this little bit lower air dam. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, you know, aesthetically it looks cool, but the fact that roughly, you know, you just got a few inches off the ground. Uh, the nice thing is, um, you know, those are pretty easy uh, pretty easy parts to replace but I would rather have the older style that's just something that they've gone into in the last few months doing that little bit lower air dam there but definitely a good looking unit it has some uh, some clearance lights up high there as well so just a single awning right there I think this awning is roughly uh, about 20 foot in length so this being you know essentially uh, being a 38 we're gonna have uh, roughly about a uh, 28, 29 foot box on it. So there's all your keypad right there uh, for your entry door and then also for your uh, baggage compartments themselves. Uh, one thing that they're doing here, they're doing uh, kind of like you see on the LE line and then also the XL, uh, they're doing kind of a one piece Cordian solid surface entry. It looks really good for me being a neat freak. I can see every little every little piece of lint inside there, so not not a big fan of that just because it's uh, <coughs> it makes it a little bit t tougher to keep clean, uh, but it's not too not too much of an issue, you know, to take and wipe it out. We come inside and kind of show you what the coach looks like all closed up. So still a really accessible coach inside. Uh, be able to, you can't quite operate these uh, these theater seats outward, but uh, you know you can accommodate a few different passengers. They do have uh, seat belts in these guys right here, and then there's a seat belt right there. But as far as entry into the cab, pretty darn simple. A ton of room here, and then once we get flipped back around, I'll show you easy entry back to the bathroom should you need it. And then also the washer dryer, you can get to those guys right there. All your storage as well. And then back to your bathroom as well. And if you needed to plop down, uh, it doesn't cover the edge of the bed. So you could take a little nap while you're driving down the road if you needed to. We'll go ahead and pause it up and get all the slides opened up for you guys. Okay, so you can see a fair amount of room here with the opposing slides. Uh, essentially, you have kind of a single uh, dinette here. Um, that does have the televator right back behind it. This is definitely more of what I would consider just a couple's coat. And then you have theater seats right here. <clears throat> you can option this with a pull-out couch. So if you need to accommodate uh, like another adult, maybe two kids, but you know, definitely with it being a little bit shorter um, and the dinette setup, it would be more uh, centered around a couple right here. But there is a fair amount of storage. Uh, we did a short little video when we got it picked up talked about the immense uh, amount of storage. There's basically storage everywhere. Uh, definitely not a problem to, to be a full-time liver in this. Uh, 
we, you know, the, the, the very minimal amount of stuff that we brought in, we actually had to search for because we had so many potential places to put it. But a fair amount of storage, basically anywhere, everywhere. Storage right down here on each uh, portion of the dinette. You got your overhead storage and then a fair amount of storage back here. But I mean, even up front here, you basically accommodate so many different things on each side of the arrow cap. Um, all the way up there and then the kitchen itself has a ton of room this product does not have an option for a dishwasher which to me is kind of silly in an RV of course I'm a big hand washer anyhow but um, you know if it was a big thing for a customer after the fact I'm sure we could take and accommodate a dishwasher uh, in that particular area right there but a fair amount of room with all of the drawers that are all full depth drawers that's one thing whenever you whenever you have the kitchen on the other side and you have the an outdoor TV back behind there your drawers get a lot less depth so essentially that's part of the deal here um, these particular are not incredibly deep you kind of see in comparison because the outdoor TV is on the back side of that so Induction cooktop here, uh, and then one thing that is unique back to the uh, Explorer will be the solid surface sink versus a stainless steel sink. It's kind of varying opinions on that as well. So this is one of the first interiors that will have this little bit lighter gray ultra leather. Everything that's been out so far is more an off-white. Um, it kind of grew on me a little bit, but I definitely my preference would be this little bit lighter gray ultra leather uh, Just keeps you know stays a little bit cleaner if you have dogs and whatnot You won't see dog hair. You won't get any kind of you won't see any uh, Much dirt on this particular ultra leather right here Kind of open up a little bit more storage for everybody to see Even storage back here. So a ton of room to be able to accommodate all kinds of kitchen goods and even right here they did a good job here accommodating a little bit a little bit of the bathroom right there that really doesn't affect anything uh, this particular closet right here is nice because it's convertible of course you're electric down there but uh, you can accommodate some hanging clothes right there with those adjustable shelves we'll go ahead and come back in the bathroom here uh, this is definitely kind of one of the most a uh, little bit tighter areas um, just being a single bath and basically just one half of the coach uh, but you can still plop down on the toilet here fair amount of room here and then the shower itself it just kind of matter of what you're accustomed to a lot of the bigger coaches we run you know 48 41 inch by 36 inch showers I don't know the exact dimensions right here but I think this is somewhere in the neighborhood of 28 uh, by about 31 so decent you know still a decent size shower but whenever you compare to larger coaches uh, definitely quite a bit smaller all solid surface a lot easier to keep clean than any kind of tile uh, makes it really simple to be able to wipe everything down and then they do adjustable spray bar right here be able to conserve a little bit of water but still a fair amount of room back on the other side on all the cabinets here and here as well washer dryer it does get a little tight here but the nice thing about these particular hinges is they come back around so you can still take and open these guys and then be able to transfer your laundry and then once you're completed be able to throw that laundry on the bed and be able to sort so tight but not extremely tight come back here to the master one thing I just kind of talked about um, whenever we did our first video was uh, the Explorer doesn't have any of the soft touch walls. It just has this wallboard wall, uh, which is what you'll see on any of the, uh, like the Verona LE down product. Uh, but you know, once you start going into the diesel pusher world, you see this uh, pretty common. Just it, it takes a little bit longer to do the soft touch. Uh, the fact that you don't walk right into a wall with a whole bunch of wallboard uh, it kind of makes this coach a little bit different than that uh, than the 40 footer but uh, once again you know you come back to this back bath I'm glad or this back bed glad that they did this mirror right here to kind of break up some of that uh, that wallboard but 
Um, just not a big fan of it. I just like the uh, the soft touch vinyl a little bit more than this. Uh, one thing that maybe they'll do in time is be able to do like a cherry reel to kind of break it up, uh, just make it feel a little bit higher in. But uh, overall, you know, you know, with the amount of storage, with the exterior um, paint scheme, you know, I really think it's pretty hard coach to beat. Uh, and if the fact that it's the only coach we're going to have unsold between now and the end of the year is a big deal as well. We'll jump back into it. Fair amount of storage here and here. Uh, this is one thing that they've done on some of their other products that people like. If you want to try to accommodate uh, longer items or if you uh, be able to keep that closed and use it as a pantry or not pantry, hamper. Hamper there. And then decent drawer right here. We just threw some of the uh, some of the central vac stuff there in that bottom drawer to accommodate it. But plugs everywhere, you know, so if you wanted to leave your cell phone charging right here or on each side of the bed, there are plugs on each side of the bed as well. This particular mattress right here is 66 by 74. I am six foot long. Uh, the fact that I could put my head right up against here, uh, I could take, an, you know, it wasn't a big deal having a little bit shorter mattress here. Um, you know, I've slept on some that are 72 and definitely that two inches makes a little bit of difference here. Um, they do kind of cram <clears throat> the mattress in here, so uh, the customer that bought the first uh, Explorer, he was not a fan of that, um, and it's just kind of one of those things where they're trying to put as much stuff as they can in a relatively small environment, so just know, come time to make your bed, one person's not going to be very happy if they have to do that by themselves, but lots of storage overhead. Uh, there is a light control and basically a Firefly control right here. Makes it nice, be able to drop all your lights, turn your generator on and off to accommodate that there as well. Uh, it gets a little bit tight here as well, um, but I mean, you know, I, can, I can move through here without too many issues. You do have um, you do have two little areas to be able to you know accommodate like a coffee cup or something like that at night. We get some people that ask about having a larger cell built for a CPAP machine, and we've done that here in the shop in the past. Open up this guy. So all the Renegade product line will basically be the same type setup. This particular piece right here stays uh, put and then the bed itself slides over the top of this. So you'll have two 75 gallon water tanks and then you'll see the two hydronic registers on each side of the bed here. Come time to winterize any Renegade, it's so incredibly simple because they put this little siphon line right here to be able to suck the RV antifreeze into the unit. I mean, it basically, if you could open up a one gallon can of RV antifreeze, you can winterize this by yourself. Take and pop this down. So it will have the, um, it will only be available with a ceiling fan in the bedroom, nothing in the living room itself, but it kind of makes it nice for a little bit of airflow at night. Uh, as far as the air conditioners, they're 15,000 BTU uh, heat pumps, which we'll come to, you can't do any, you can't do any more than two here. Jump back up front. We'll kind of stop and talk about the Firefly really quickly. We've done a lot of videos on this, but got a whole menu right here. Lots of redundancy here. You'd be able to start stop your generator. Be able to kind of check out your temperatures, run your aqua hot on several different uh, menus here as well. Makes it nice. A lighting menu. Let me go to front so you can dim all your lights. I don't know if you can catch this right here. That will dim the lights. And then, so if you have other varying lights, you can always go and just press and it will bring all the lights back up and on. So pretty handy there. Auto generator start uh, located in there. So if you had low voltage or air conditioning demand, it will start your generator, run all your slides, run all your awnings. And then you do have a power management system right here that will tell you your amp drop. <clears throat> We're not currently plugged in here, so you won't see any kind of figures there, but very easy to operate, very easy to use. And there is an app as well. So basically, as long as you download the app and you know how to get into it, which is right here, uh, not a problem to take and operate this coach off of any kind of uh, app, whether it's a, whether it's a Droid based or a Apple based as well. So pretty cool setup there. <clears throat> like that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think this coach is going to last too long. We've had lots of phone calls in the last week about it. I just wanted to get back here, get it all cleaned up. Uh, but definitely beautiful inside and out. Uh, it was incredibly nice having a little bit smaller coach. Uh, there's 
Uh, I'm kind of a cheapskate, so we went into a little fuel stop that was 10 cents a gallon cheaper, but it was much uh, tougher to get in and out. And I was able to get all the way around the fuel pumps, which is pretty amazing because most of the coaches we bring in are 45 foot. A lot more difficult to kind of take and maneuver, but cool setup. Um, you know, the colors really uh, all come together. You know, there's, you know, I'll be happy to kind of share any opinions with people that want to talk after the fact. You know, the floor is beautiful, but same type scenario as your entry. You can see one little speck of lint uh, from a mile away, but just kind of a matter of preference. And of course, none of this stuff is going to change. But thanks for coming in, ch checking out the video. Make sure you guys like, tag, subscribe, anything you can kind of do to promote our business. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.